London? No, it wasn't London. Well, who told you that? Who? Dude, I don't fucking know. It was a long time ago. I don't even remember. Yeah, yeah. well, Mallory, London's the only person that knew about that, so any way you heard it, it's pretty fucked up. So <sighs> what? It's not true? Oh, it's not fucking true. Dude, I don't get it. Like, what the fuck happened then? Well, why don't you tell me what you heard happened, and then I'll tell you what really happened. Just after this one, hold up. <laughs> All right, okay, so I heard that, like, you guys had a fight or something, and you broke out, and she drove back to your place and found you unconscious next to some sleeping pills or something, and you had to get your stomach pump. That's what I heard. That's okay, all. now do you want to know what really happened? Yeah, I mean, you know, that's why I asked. You know my dog, Toker? Yeah? Yes, well, he's epileptic. Okay. So the vet, they prescribe him phenobarbital. Phen what the fuck is phenobarbital? Phenobarbital, like, like barbiturates, they're downers for his fits. Wait a minute. Your dog has epilepsy yeah. and got prescribed. Eating. Yes, let me finish. Let me finish. Anyway, it was my two-year anniversary with London, and I knew she thought I'd forget. So I said you always forget, always. So I took a couple of Toker's phenobarbital. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you took your dog's medication? Phenobarbital is phenobarbital. It doesn't matter the fact that it was for my dog. People have been taking it recreationally for years. It doesn't matter that it was for him. <laughs> Smoke that. So wait a minute. What does it do to you? They make you feel good. They're euphoric. You know, they're like downers. Okay. Anyway, I was pretty drunk at the time, and I took like five or six of them. Five or six doggy downers? Yeah, Man. Toker's 50 pounds. He takes two. I'm a buck 70. Five or six seems pretty good. Shit. The problem with barbiturates is that if you're drunk, you can kind of fall into a coma if you're not careful. Oh man, you went into a coma too. What's wrong with you? No, I you? didn't go into a fucking coma, Mallory. London came back to apologize or whatever. Sid? Sid? So fucked up. The fact she's out there telling people that makes me so furious. I would never do that to anyone. It's just fucking rude. So they never pumped your stomach? No, they didn't pump shit. I went to the hospital. I took a few coherency tests. That's it. That's all. Do you see how reality gets twisted when little fucking girls gossip? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I guess. What, do you not believe me? No, of course I believe you, Sid. That's why I asked. I was concerned. It just makes me so fucking livid that she's out there telling people this warped version of what happened. You know what? Just please don't go out there telling her that I told you this, all right? That's the last thing you need right now. Believe me, Mallory, the last thing I'm gonna do is mention your name. Well, honestly, if I were you, I wouldn't even bring this shit up, okay? It's her last night here. Just focus on something positive, all right? She don't wanna hear that shit. Fuck. What? What's wrong? on me. If Mary is this amazing, smart, sweet human being, then I must be doing something right. You're smiling. <laughs> 